Once you have finished with the contact preferences, we're going to go to another screen in Independent Campus. Under User Account again, choose Account Management. This is where you will put in your new password. And just a word about passwords. Make sure that you are choosing something that you are going to remember. I would suggest things like if you have a Facebook account or a Twitter or an Instagram that nobody else knows, you might want to consider using that password. Just beware that uh, you want to make sure it's something that you're going to remember. You will enter it twice and this will show you the strength of your password. And that's con confirming it. You can skip the section that says uh, e-signature pin. We're not going to worry about that. The account recovery email. This will be the email that's used if you were to forget your password. That should be your school Google account. The next section gets a little bit trickier. You might remember perhaps last year or if you're a new student this year having to choose eight likes or dislikes. It's a lot to remember. I don't think I would remember the eight things I chose to like and dislike. However, what is nice is that Infinite Campus displays those for you just a little bit further down. So this section shows your eight likes and your eight dislikes. But it is something that you would have to remember if you were to forget your password. So what I am going to recommend you do is get out your snipping tool and actually snip this little rectangle here with your eight likes and dislikes. Save your snip in your Google Drive. That way, if you were to do a password recovery email, it's going to ask you this question. You can refer to your SNP in case you need to. Down below here where it says current password, that does not mean the new password. That means the old one that you're getting rid of. You will need to put in your old password in order to make the new one effective. So, several sections here to complete. Just to review one more time, make sure you've put in your new password and you've confirmed it. Make sure your recovery email is your school mail. And make sure that you have taken a snip of your likes and dislikes and saved it in your Google Drive. Put in your old Infinite Campus password and then make sure that you click Save Changes.